you know, these these are the uh, the business guys here. This is Martin Goodman right here. Can you drop and, that down? Uh, with with can't Charlton see it. Heston. There you go. This is Martin Goodman here with with Charlton Heston. <laughs> um, he didn't know anything. I mean, I mean, this this is how the confluence of events that come together. Here's Martin Goodman right here. Can you drop it down? Kind of like a silver hair. Drop it down. Devil. What year is that? Yeah. Uh, this is 45, 40, these are the 1940s when he was younger. Um, you know, this is when he was, he was cranking out the pulps. He was cranking out, you know, these kind of spicy magazines. They were doing sports. They were doing Westerns. He was a hack. He was a criminal. He was, uh, you know, he's fined, fined and sanctioned many times by the, uh, trade federal trade commission for publishing, you know, uh, you know, previously published material under the, under the guise of being new material. And he was not paying his artists, you know, he was notorious for all of the above. And so that's why it was such an incredible confluence of events that came together. Um, you know, when he hired Stanley, a very young Stanley at the age of 17, Stanley became a copy boy and an editor and like, you know, and a, and a gopher, a coffee boy. Um, Jack Kirby had already been in the business for 10, 15 years, maybe. 